might take the bike for a ride. I was thinking about getting the GoPro, but I don't know. I might wait till like, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll take a look at it. Alright boys, so much for looking at it. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Look at that baby. Hero 7 Black. That thing is sick. We got the 128 gigabyte card and a battery. Look at that. Live action. I don't know what settings to run this thing at, but like, you're gonna have to figure it out. What's up, YouTube? It's about 9.30 in the morning. Ride day, Jackson's Pumpkin Farm. So, we got the bikes ready to go. I just like measured my sag all by myself last night. 250, I just gotta throw the air filter in that. Gotta clean my boots up a little bit. Should have done this last night, but I always insist on procrastinating. Nothing but the best. Alright. Alrighty. Let that kind of rinse off, or let that drip off in the sun. Alright. Let's get the babies loaded up. With the wind catching that lid, that'll take that right off. There you go. I do believe we're good to go. Alright dudes, we are very, very close to the track. It's about a mile on the left, not even probably. And I don't think there's a gas station around here. I got a little less than a quarter tank. I should have got gas before I came, but we're just gonna send it, you know, the typical routine. And uh, I got three Gatorades and a little bit of water, so I should be good for a while. I should have grabbed something to eat, but what are you gonna do? But yeah. I live like in Pennsylvania. This is like a two hour drive from my house, but it's worth every minute. This track is like so sick. And you can just ride all day for 25 bucks. Wow, it actually doesn't look like there's that many people here. The place is called Jackson's Pumpkin Patch. It's in Endicott, New York. Oh, dude, the track fucking prime. I might try hitting it this time. It don't look like that big of a jump.
Dude, did you see me go over that berm? super hot this thing gets really hot the 450 still alive but I dialed in the suspension after that and it's feeling a lot better dude it, before it was like skipping around the front end and it was just you know bouncing and it wouldn't stay on the ground now dude I put it out a few clicks almost double because it's set up for like a 180 pound rider like a 170 to 200 pound rider I'm like 150, 155, and yeah, it was just way too stiff. And I loosened up the rear spring, one full turn, because I checked the sag last night, that was off by five millimeters. That needed to be loosened a little bit. I turned it another full turn, because I wanted to, they say it's like a millimeter and a half or something for a full turn. So I turned it another full one, but then the spring was like loose. It wasn't even like, there was no tension on it on the stand. I don't really know if that matters, but like, I just left it a one turn because at least then there was a little bit of tension on it, if you know what I mean. So yeah, getting out of here, and that must be the owners. And I'll see you guys at the house. Just made it home from the pumpkin patch up in New York. Gonna get the bikes unloaded here. I'm gonna see how this little setup works putting the GoPro up there. Last bike I gotta wash. Didn't ride the 250 today. I usually unload from the left side of the bike. This feels super awkward on the right side. If you want to see more of this, comment down below. Subscribe. See you on the flip side.